Winter will be here before you know it. There are four things you should do now to make your family and home safe for the winter. The first thing you need to do is to replace the batteries in your smoke detectors. Winter is the most dangerous time of the year for house fires. Almost every smoke detector uses a 9 volt battery. You need to check the instructions to see how to change it out. If you don't have them, you can go to the manufacturer's website and get them from there. Now let's take care of the water supply piping, starting with the outside hose bibs. The exposed outside piping must be insulated so it will not freeze during a hard freeze. This hose bib has been insulated, but it really wasn't done very well. Here's another example of a hose bib where the work wasn't done as well as it should be. This hose bib is insulated very well, but there is one problem, and that is that it would be better if the hose was disconnected from the hose bib. Notice that part of the insulation on the hose bib is actually a type of tape. We'll look at that in a minute. After the insulation is put on, you want to tape everything nice and tight and use HVAC duct tape. This type of tape will hold up much better, especially outside, than ordinary duct tape. If you have a lawn sprinkler system, you're going to have a backflow device somewhere in your yard, somewhere on the property, that also has to be protected. The first thing to do is to take a large towel, like a beach towel, and simply wrap it around the exposed part of the device. Next, take a plastic garbage bag and wrap it around the insulated backflow device. This will help keep the wind off of the device and will make the insulation much more effective. You may have hose bibs in your yard, especially in the backyard. If you do, they're going to be exposed and they too need to be protected. There may be other water supply piping in the landscaping also. Again, anything that's above ground and exposed needs to be protected. When you buy the, the insulation for your piping, be sure that it's the right size. If it's too small like this is, it's not going to be as effective. Be sure to protect any water supply piping that's above the insulation in the attic, especially around the water heater. The next item to look at is your fireplace. Fireplaces are high above the roof. They are especially vulnerable to lightning strikes. It is not uncommon for a fireplace chimney to receive a lightning strike and the owner is not even aware of it, even though the lightning has done some damage to the fireplace chimney. If you have a factory fireplace, the chimney will be a steel pipe, which you may be able to find in the attic. This is something you can check yourself. If anything about it looks odd, you need to call a chimney sweep to check everything out more thoroughly. Also, if the fireplace is a factory fireplace, it may have a facade around the chimney that's outside, the steel pipe. Again, look at it carefully from the ground. If anything about it looks the least bit odd, that's another sign to have a chimney sweep check everything out. These facades are up in the air, they're made of wood, they're exposed, things can happen that you're not going to be able to tell without getting on top of the roof and actually taking the cap off and looking at it. In some cases, when you have a factory fireplace, the steel pipe chimney will be visible from the ground outside. There won't be any shroud around it. You can see it completely from the ground. Again, if anything doesn't look right, call a chimney sweep. Masonry fireplaces will usually have a masonry chimney. Again, look at it from the ground as best you can. If anything doesn't look right, call a chimney sweep. It's also always better to err on the side of safety. Here is a quick summary. First, and perhaps most importantly, change the batteries for your smoke detectors. Have a professional technician service your furnace. Check all the exposed water supply piping outside and in the attic and insulate or repair any insulation that's been damaged. Check your fireplace and chimney and have them serviced by a chimney sweep. If you have any questions or comments about this video, you can email me at graysp@gmail.com at gmail.com or call me at 
358-1121. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed the video.